It was my first real job on a construction site. They gave me safety glasses, but I was stubborn about wearing them. Wish I hadn't been. I was helping a lady move from her wheelchair to the table. I should have taken the extra minute to ask for help, but instead I screwed up my shoulder big time. The saw was missing its guard, but I didn't speak up about it. I'm lucky to have my fingers. I was uh, just stocking shelves and my foot slipped. I never thought a job at the mall could be dangerous. Behind every story of a workplace injury is a person who never thought they'd get hurt. After all, Montana is known for tough, just get it done, don't back down workers, right? Well, we're also known as a state where workers are more likely to get injured. And that's especially true if you're under 25 and new to the workforce. The demands of your employer and the job itself might not give you much room to think about safety. Plus, you're invincible, or at least you feel that way. As a young worker, you're probably inexperienced. You may not be properly trained, but find yourself hesitant to ask questions. You may be given the more dangerous jobs, but as a young worker, you also have rights. You have a right to a safe workplace and good training from day one, not because you've put your time in or because you've proven yourself valuable. So whether you're just starting out or you're a couple of years in, let's talk about how to lower your chances of becoming injured and how you might help others do the same. Safety actually starts when you interview for a job. Don't be afraid to ask questions like, what are the hazards I'll be exposed to? What kind of safety training will I receive? Is there a safety committee? Notice whether your interviewer answers questions openly and willingly explains the risks. If he or she is dodgy or dismissive, that's a red flag. Pay attention to it. While you're at the interview, or even now if you've already started, make some careful observations of the workspace. Look for employees wearing personal protective gear, safety signage and well-marked caution areas, equipment in good condition, and good general housekeeping. Even the general vibe of employees can give you a sense of whether they feel valued and safe. And where you find safety, you're more likely to find other things that make a job worth having. Fair pay, a boss who listens, and more. Once you're on the job, safety is an everyday practice. Here are some ways to avoid accidents and get back to your off hours safe and sound. First, follow the rules and policies. They're not there to slow you down. They're meant to keep you safe. Get fully trained on the equipment required for your job. It's the law, and way smarter than trial and error. Wear your personal protective gear. You only get one set of eyes. Be alert and pay attention to hazardous conditions. Trust your instincts and stop the job immediately if you see something that isn't quite right. Ask questions if you don't know or understand something. Better now than in the ambulance. And speak up to help others work safely too. Your friends will thank you when you save them from losing a limb. Every job has specific risks and therefore specific safety tips that will keep you safe doing it. So make sure to start every job learning how to protect yourself. When you do that, you also protect your paycheck, your time, and maybe even your life. What would I say to someone just starting out? Take safety seriously. You're doing it for you. It's worth a couple of extra minutes to protect yourself. For more on your rights as a young worker and staying safe on the job, go to safemt.com.